Hey guys, it's Aaron Gwinner here from Defiery IT Entertainment. It's been a while since I've done a devlog. I've uh, been developing various parts of the game, uh, spending a lot of time in the development process on various aspects of sound design um, and currently visual design as well, so various VFX that are being put into the game. So I've been doing the VFX recently, um, including portal effects for the game. Oh, they've been going really well and I thought today it would be really cool just to show you how I actually go about that process so you see from how I start the, the effect all the way through to how it actually looks within the game. So in front of me here is one of the open portals um, within the game and this is going to be showing the location that you can go into um, once you've activated it. So what I've got here above the, um, the main image here is actually the image of the area the location that the portal leads to and this is basically what we want to see within the open portal and there's various different effects that need to be added on top of that as well. If I put the image here and fill it up within the actual hoop itself this is how big I want the image to be. Photoshop as well as the actual color of the the, um, the coloration of the world, the, the tone and the, the various tones and the style of the game um, Photoshop plays a big part in that, um, so not only for visual effects like these, but for general effects over the entire game, especially the rendered images and the background here for example, um, Photoshop comes in really useful. So it's it's great being able to use it for this kind of thing as well. I'll go about 70% on the opacity, and that way I can actually see where the ellipse needs to be drawn. This is going to cut out the actual image itself, so then we'll only see the location within the hoop. That's cool. I can then go to the layer, the vector mask, and cut it out using the current path, which is selected on the image there. So now I can come out of this and bring that up to 100 if I want to and that fills up the entire hoop there so now I've got a really cool window into the world um, showing everything inside it and basically showing the location that we'll be going to once you click and then traverse and that's a different kind of effect which I'll be going through today as well so now what I want to do is add effects to this image to make it look less like the image of the location that you're going into so it actually feels like it's coming through to the player through like a portal so I'm gonna add a duplicate layer and on top of that I'm gonna go to hard light set this to about 50% and the normal layer to about 73 so now we've got that set up I'm going to add a another layer which is basically going to be like a plasma texture. Um, this is also taken from one of my other um, portals that I have, have set up for the game. Um, there's various different portals within Nia and they all have different names and different uses and backgrounds and everything and you can actually find that out within the game itself. Um, this particular portal is called a Pelorian portal um, and traverses the player to specific places within the game that are targeted for those kinds of portals. But adding this effect here just basically uh, gives the look of everything more of a plasma-like uh, portal of feel rather than just seeing the location on the other side. So I'm going to reduce that down to about 50, 50% 50 for now. And also add some effect just to give it a bit more of a faded feel. So it's merging within the actual image itself. I've always found Divide to be really cool, um, but it's always just a bit too red for me. Uh, that's why I keep that nice blue sort of tone as well. Uh, Vivid is pretty nice. Overlay works quite nicely usually. And I can intent um, bring out more of the blues as well, or bring down the greens if I want to as well. What I might do is just bring this up a bit more to about 80. And then change the colors within this as well. What I have done in the past is actually selected um, this part of the image and just edited it and then brought it back in. But usually I can create some kind of effect quite quickly just using 
uh, for instance the camera wall filter here maybe bring something up here just adjust the the lights um, the, the colors of the blues bring them out a bit more and let's see how this looks so we've got a bit more of a greeny kind of tone going on here if I'm going to adjust more of the underlayer a bit more just to bring out some colors and lightness that's pretty cool so I've gone for more of a, a linear dodge there and then this one I might change I might actually add something over the top just to bring this out a bit more so I'm now duplicating the plasma effect and seeing if I can just a few things here okay so now we've saved that image we have our portal here it doesn't look exactly like it does within the game but this is just an example of basically creating layers to represent what the portal will look like but going into uh, Wondershare I can um, add an effect of the open portal so once the player comes across this portal and activates it this is what it's going to look like um, I'll quickly open up a template This is one of the actual portals within the game, um, in another location of the game. Um, this shows an example of the portal being opened as well. So we have some effects going on here just to show there's activity within the, the portal itself. Okay, so bringing in our new portal image here, I can put it over the top of this layer. Just creating a template like this saves so much time because then I'll have the, the effects ready to go and I can just bring in the images that I want and just basically adds the effect over what I need. Um, a couple of scenes within the game also need this doing as well for various different things. So having these effects just saves so much time on my end. And then copy the effect on top. Take that one out. Bring that one in. And now we have our effect over the top here. Obviously it's a bit too big for this scene so using this mask here I can basically if I wanted to I can take this out replace it with circular ellipse and I can specify exactly where I want the effect to be fill that up there that's pretty accurate I can zoom in a bit more if I want to or bring that up like that that's fine for now so the actual color of the portal itself will be affected by the color of the effect so even if it was a bit too dark in certain tones this effect will kind of bring that out and I can adjust the um, the frequency direction the opacity and everything of the effect too so if I do go here I can uh, adjust the opacity frequency strength the amount some of the other effects the strength of it But we basically have like an open portal, um, which basically shows that the portal is active and you can actually traverse through the scene. I'm now going to show you a scene from the game that actually shows this within the uh, location itself. So now having shown you how the portal works when you activate it, I'm now going to show you how I create the traverse effect. So again, using Wondershare, this shows the, uh, the portal um, disappearing and then you're reappearing into the scene that the portal opens up to. 
So using an image from quite similar to the one that we just uh, created, this is the actual one from the game itself that I created. Um, this is from the portal open effect. So it's just one static image. And what we're going to do is bring in the location. That would be uh, this one here of the Galorfiac Mines. And then adding this effect over the top of those two images. So this is like a warp effect. And so if I go step by step, I'm going to show you what these effects do. So this one here warps the image into the next one. Which is quite cool. That's the kind of main effect. On top of that we also have a glitch of sorts that happens over the top as well. It's kind of taking a while to load, but you'll get you'll see the entire thing within the game anyway. Kind of creates a little fuzziness which is quite nice. Kind of creates more of a more of an electric um, static feel which I always found was quite nice especially with the kind of digital idea of being drawn into the portal then coming back out the outs on the outside um, just adds a bit more depth to the effect itself on top of that we have a mini wave which adds kind of like a ripple effect if I believe uh, if I remember correctly and on top of that there's the uh, overlay of uh, seeing some stars, which I thought was really cool. Just thinking about the effect of where you go whilst you're traveling through these portals, because these ones take a slightly, well, they were going to take a lot longer to actually traverse through, but I decided to keep them fairly short just to save um, time. You can actually skip the animations as well within the game, but I really wanted to add that kind of vacuum of space um, feel so that you feel like you're actually traversing through some kind of limbo, some kind of area that's between uh, the locations you're going to. And this effect here just really kind of just brought that um, idea across the smallest, um, the shortest way possible, basically. I was going to add like a whole wormhole animation of actually traveling through these uh, rings and stuff, but yeah, this just works a lot quicker and basically serves as a, a really nice effect brings that across nicely. And on top of that, there's another overlay, kind of similar one. I think this one adds more of a kind of cloudy effect on the sides. And on top of that, there's a little weak signal that comes in there, kind of a little shake of the camera. So in total we have um, this effect basically.